uh, welcoming Barcelona legend and former ISL star Hofre Matthew. Uh, he is with us. Okay, okay. Now it's perfect. And uh, okay, so uh, we will begin with the uh, Indian football now. And two of ardent uh, Euro Cup fans, they will ask you questions. So I will take them later on. Uh, firstly, uh, I would not uh, delay the life so much. And uh, firstly, I would like to come in your early life. How did you start playing football? Well, um, as much as I remember, I was a very small child, you know, play here at home. And uh, from the very beginning, uh, my parents remember that I... I was all the time, you know, in the garden. I I, I lived uh, next to a football pitch, next to the football field, and I don't know. There's there's a as a very small part of my of my father who is very passionate on football. And uh, when I was seven, I started playing in a club okay. here uh, home. And when I was thirteen, I I went to Barcelona. Yes, uh, means I am telling that uh, parents. Uh, yes, I am telling you that uh, your parents fully supported you for choosing your passion football as your career. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. they they fully supported, but um, they they both uh, they both uh, were teachers. So yes, they support me, but uh, you know, as okay as well as okay. i continue with my with my studies so um, i'm working parallel in both in both things you know studying and playing football obviously till i was uh, 20 something okay great great uh, this uh, does not happen in india because in india many parents uh, do not support the, the, they prefer education first and <laughs> after that uh, they uh, mean the sports is not so much uh, I know, I know. as fast now the point is that yes, when, yes, when yes, I was thirteen, yes. when I was thirteen, yes. Barcelona came here home to you know to sign me and go to La Masia. We 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 were in a position to take a take the chance and you know to decide and. Okay, so uh, tell us something about the the most popular brand La Masia, uh, you have uh, come from there only and it is the most popular uh, in industry of football, uh, that is better to say, <laughs> because La Masia is the, one of the most popular brands. So how were your days in La Masia and uh, tell us some memories of La Masia Academy. Uh, 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 that time, you know, during... 18, I, I was living there, and for me, it was uh, not the biggest experience. But at that time, it was extraordinary, extraordinary, and amazing. You know, I was living with uh, other other players. Uh, you know, not far from home. That uh, make uh, my life easier because my parents and my sister were uh, were not not far from me. And then, you know, uh, having the family close and living your dream, playing in, in Barcelona, uh, um, share your experiences and your life and your feelings and emotions. We have players that are in the same position and, um, you know, playing for the national team here. Uh, it was a, it was great. And uh, I remember that as a, a very nice experience for me. So, uh, means, uh, I was talking about the uh, Derby event. Uh, you have played the Spanish Derby. And I don't know if you have followed Kolkata Derby or not, East Bengal versus Mohan Bagan. Uh, so can you relate? I mean, what's the difference uh, in uh, Indian Derby and Spanish Derby, Espanol versus Barcelona? The, that I am telling. Uh, well, um, in, in terms of uh, how the supporters feel the, the match, is not a big difference. I mean, uh, it's always uh, about... Uh, uh, you know all the context, all the environment that is around the the game. Obviously, is uh, extraordinarily important here in in Barcelona. You know, winning the the your your rival, your opponent. But uh, uh, 
when we are talking about football, it's not just a game, that it's uh, about uh, how you feel with a victory or with a loss. Uh, uh, it's uh, the same one derby or another. Just here, probably in Barcelona, there's a, a lot of noise because it, you know, moves a lot of media. But um, if you support even a small, a small uh, club, a small team, uh, and there's a derby, you feel like it's it's the same Barcelona, Espanol, uh, Madrid, whatever. Yes, in, in, means I am uh, specifically I am talking about that uh, means uh, after the match, if, uh, if one team gets defeated and one team uh, wins, that is the obvious. And uh, after that, means the fighting between the fans uh, is uh, most prominent team Kolkata derby. So I am asking that uh, is this uh, common in uh, Spanish derby also? Uh, is is uh, uh, the question? Sorry, again. Yes, means I am telling that uh, in, in Kolkata derby, if one team wins and the other team loses, and the, the fight between the supporters, uh, that is incredible in Kolkata derby. In uh, outside of the stadium or inside of the stadium after the full ten score. Uh, so I, I am asking that uh, uh, in Spanish derby, uh, is it the same way? I think uh, you know in Kolkata you are more passionate with your derby, <laughs> to be honest, you know, <laughs> because uh, yeah. in Barcelona nowadays, yeah, the difference in between Barça Espanyol uh, it's it's uh, big enough. Then you know when the match is is over, uh, we can see that everything is over. Probably if Espanyol wins Barça because it's the smallest one, uh, you know the noise is better and the supporters, but um, it it's it really happened so that's why i think you know uh, in in kolkata things are more balanced and then you know winning or no it's it's uh, it's it's bigger so probably okay yes uh, that's the fact and uh, getting promoted from uh, barcelona b to Bar uh, senior barcelona team how was your feeling that time though you have played uh, two matches for uh, barcelona senior team but means uh, the team that is the means brand of football that Barcelona gives. How did you feel when you uh, got promoted from Barcelona B to senior team? Well, as you can imagine, uh, you know, when you are dreaming on something from the, you know, uh, uh, your childhood and then you are making steps, playing in the academy, under 13, under 15, and then you reach the second team. Uh, it was a, uh, it, it was very big for me. But then, you know, uh, I only played two two games for La Liga, but I played uh, more, uh, you know, cup, uh, some uh, friendly games. I went to, you know, doing the preseason with a uh, with the team in in England in UK. So, you know, achieving uh, just to touch a little bit the, the first team of Barcelona for me was uh, extraordinary. Uh, it's like uh, you know, uh, reaching the dream that you you are uh, you are looking for for your um, uh, entire career in 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 the in the academy. So not only because you 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 get the things that you are looking for, but it was like more you know uh, I'm I'm a Barcelona supporter, and then, <laughs> and then it's not only that you you achieve the things that you are fighting for, but in the team that you you dream on when you are you know when you are a child so it, it was uh, uh, amazing and i remember it uh, uh, as one of the very important things that i i get in my life okay that's great and uh, from spain to india uh, at the age of 34 uh, why did you choose uh, indian super league uh, and, I means you played in spain and after that you uh, Played for uh, in play, uh, you came to India and played for the Indian Super League. Why did you choose Indian Super League? Well, I finished my contract here in 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 Girona, in uh, you know, in the Smartbat League in here in in Spain, and uh, the the chance to go for the Super League appears because it was the first time that they are looking for players here for the draft. As you can remember, the first the first season was a draft. And you know there are ten 
Spanish players going for that draft and they called me if I was interested because I was finishing my contract and you know to be honest at the very beginning I uh, I have a lot of doubts because here at that time India has no very tradition in terms of football mm-hmm. but lucky me I decided to just get the option and 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 try and it was uh, an extraordinary decision i was very, i am i am very happy to take that decision because uh, you know the first season in kolkata with the hk with the, you know with the teammates leaving uh, the city the culture and winning the trophy obviously but you know the the, the success at the end it was not the the biggest success i mean the trophy was just a consequence yes that's uh, that's the thing and uh, thanks uh coming to india and playing uh, in the in newly uh, newly launched league indian super league uh, was it challenging means from spain you came to india and 2014 was the starting mm-hmm. of the indian super league so was it challenging yes a lot a lot because i don't know about what i was uh, you know the things that are ex- waiting for me here so when when i stay here i mean in kolkata and um, so yeah it was but you know new new um new atmosphere new teammates uh, new coach even it was it was you know I was spanish but it was a new coach for me and uh, everything was new and it was like uh, you 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 must be open minded if you want to uh, perform well in the indian super league so i came with this open mind and again uh, i think it was the the biggest success just go there enjoy the experience uh, leave it like uh, it uh, it is just uh, you know a football uh, a step of my career and uh, i i really enjoyed it a lot okay and uh, means you say at dressing room with uh, the new team uh, and antonio lopez habas uh, he is now also the head coach of atk mohan bagan so antonio lopez habas uh, the most animated yeah. head coach of indian I super know. league side uh, yes and uh, so uh, in pura fernandez uh, <laughs> pura fernandez uh, luis garcia and you spain in spanish the uh, total team was one uh, spanish star so how did you felt in the dressing room Well, uh, we built a nice, a nice uh, group, a nice team. Uh, I, uh, you know, uh, for all of us, it was a, a, a new experience, and uh, we just tried to share our football experience. But uh, uh, the rest of the players, not only the Indians, but I remember Figro, I remember you know Nato and Edel too. Uh, you know, it, it it was like a let's build something to to raise the trophy and uh, um we were very comfortable you know in living in the hotel as a family uh, sharing everything it was a very short time at that time you remember the league was like uh, two months and a half so it was uh, a lot of time many things and i remember it like um uh, Uh, many life experiences very interesting some of them not easy always but um you know with borja with luis luis as a, you know our marquee our captain he he was extraordinary focus on uh, gelling everything you know on being uh, our leader and uh, i think uh, part of the success it was like uh, our our captain and our our marquee was luis garcia Yes, that's the thing. And uh, means Luis Garcia. I'm uh, asking about Luis Garcia only, and uh, means the Spanish connection. Uh, yeah, means coming from Spain to India, eight thousand kilometer apart, approximately. And uh, you are uh, means. Uh, do you think that uh, the Spanish uh, Spanish team was responsible for the uh, for being the champion uh, of uh, Atletico de Kolkata? Well, uh, of course, is 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 a. Uh, I don't know how big, but it's a part of the success because we were, you know, Spanish staff, not all, mm. but mostly, and we were Arnal, uh, Josemi, Borja, Luis, 
me and Basilio was there at the very beginning too. So we were six and uh, we were coming from, you know, top leagues. And that's, that's uh, I think there's an advantage in front of others. And to be honest, we, we came here uh, and our disposal was better than other teams, you know, in terms of physically condition, mentally condition. I think we came here just not to just, uh, you know, not for the money, not for the experience, but, you know, for the football too. I mean, to perform well. And that's why we, we, we get the trophy because we all, you know, Borja uh, uh, made a, an extraordinary season, not only the first one, but this one too. So, yeah, it, it was very important, our, our, uh, our behavior here and our, uh, let's say, kind of uh, um, way that we try to um, just be a part of the team. That's great. And uh, after the, becoming the champion uh, of 2014, Atletico di Kolkata, and uh, in, uh, you came to FC Goa. Why did you change the team uh, in uh, 2015? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm being completely honest, uh, with you because, you know, I, uh, when the first, uh, Indian Super League in 2014 finished, I was completely sure I'm going to follow, to sign a, uh, you know, a new contract with ATK and the decision oh. was, uh, from the club. Uh, you know, it's not because I want to leave the ATK and sign for Goa, it's because ATK prefer other teams, um, other, other players, sorry. Then I, I look for another, uh, another team. So uh, uh, from my part, when I finished, I was completely decided to, to keep on uh, doing my, my next season and my career with ATK. But uh, they signed for other players. They decided not, not signing me. And then I look for other one. And to be honest, uh, lucky me because uh, my two years in, in Goa were extraordinary too. Yes, that means uh, means uh, I'm telling that. Uh, do you think that uh, the connection of uh, means ATM was Atletico Madrid was actively involved with the team uh, from uh, purchasing the share to the management and all the things? Uh, and after 2016 season of ATK, uh, ATM uh, got separated with ATK. So, do you think that after being the champion uh, of uh, means after uh, becoming the champion uh, of 2014? Uh, the separations uh, started from uh, that part only. Um, well, now with the distance, we can say yes, but you know, I wasn't there and I don't know what kind of decisions they take or they took, but yes, you know, uh, when we succeed, I feel like they, they thought that there's a gap there to, uh, you know, invest or you know uh, to try to look for uh, their players their staff their mm, everything and well mm, nowadays we can say that mm, the decisions were not the best but it's it's understandable so mm, i don't know uh, you know i i cannot say nothing wrong or bad about atletico because uh, uh, the point was that I was there because of them too. So uh, that uh, is part of them. But then the decisions, you know, following the the first season, I feel like they were they were not the best. A lot of difficult questions I have asked you now, and so <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. Yeah, I imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. Lot of difficult questions. So, uh, means uh, now I am coming to uh, FC Goa. FC Goa, uh, you have got Chico, uh, the legend, uh, means, uh, the legend of football. And uh, how was the dressing room experience with Chico? Um, I'm not saying the best of my career, but probably close. Uh, I've never seen such a big legend being so humble. Never. I mean, it's it's extraordinary his behavior, his way to understand the life, his way to uh, transfer to the you know to the players. 
uh, the way that not only the way that he is trying to play, you know, uh, the 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 project, the 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 proposal is not only the proposal; is the way that he was in connection with the teammates and. I always say that for me it's a tremendous honor being part of the team and being under uh, Zico the legend because he treated me like I've never I've never lived before in football and you know coming from him is uh, something that I I keep for my entire life for the rest of the future yeah you, uh, you can keep uh, Zico uh, in the top you have faced many coaches uh, from Van Gaal uh, in uh, ISL also Antonio Lopez, Shabazz, Zico. So, uh, Vince, yeah, you are putting Zico in the top. Uh, in my career or in ISL? No, in your game. In your game. Yeah, yeah, but no, I, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that he is the best coach, but probably he, he is. But he is the one that makes me feel better. Yeah, for sure. And coming from the big legend Zico for me, you know, I, you can imagine it's, it's something extraordinary. Yeah. Okay. Most times, uh, you're giving diplomatic answer. <laughs> no, no, it's true. I mean, if you ask me, if you ask me, who do you choose as your preferred coach in your career? Zico. Yeah, mm. for sure. Okay. Okay, so Anindo Dotto is asking that how was your experience playing ISL with APKC and Goa? Um, extraordinary in both of them. I mean, uh, in ATK being the first the first experience in India, winning the trophy, uh, and uh, you know, it's not my decision to not you know just following with ATK because uh, from my part, I I was completely decided to to go with that, but uh, they decided to not uh, resign me and then I went to to Goa and it was two years extraordinary you know you you know how is living in Goa you know the Susagat life and uh, you know we were too close to win the second one and you know apart from the the, the poorly football life I mean the 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 league and and your career and your and your job uh, life in Kolkata and in Goa uh, was uh, extraordinary experience. Means, uh, Thank you, Annie. In one yeah. word Thank you so much. Means, one word you say that ATKFC or Goa? In one word, if I have to choose? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you making me? Are you making me choose between ATK and Goa? Eh? So I'm yeah. being diplomatic, and you don't want me to be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me let me say Goa. You know, two seasons in Goa, living in Goa, it's something. You know, it's it's too big. When you live in Goa for you know for you know part of your life in Goa, it's very it's very hard to choose another part of your of the world if you live in Goa. Yes, Goa. Uh, actually, uh, it is uh, related with uh, the place you live, uh, the beaches and all the things. Uh, Goa is the most uh, is, uh, most beautiful place uh, in India. So, and Som Chakuti is asking. Som Chakuti is asking. You scored total seven goals in ISL. Which one was the best? You think? Um, the the one that I mostly remember as you can imagine it wasn't you know the free kick in the final but it wasn't decisive because at the end of the of the of the day at the end of the match it wasn't enough to win so if i have to choose one i remember one in kerala with fc goa when we win i think i remember one seven or two seven in in kerala and i i scored once with my red um right right leg and it was a nice goal, you know, uh, Reynaldo assist. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, I would uh, like to ask again a difficult question, uh, question to you. Because uh, I've done, uh, I've talked with many uh, footballers, uh, past also ATK players, Arata Izumi also, uh, we have done live with. So now I would like to ask you one difficult question that ATK and Mohan Bagan, uh, they marched. 
So, what are your views on ATK MB, uh, the new uh, new entity ATK Mohan Bagan MB? Yeah, it's 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 a tough question. I, I know, you know, I have, uh, you know, I remember I post one uh, one post in Instagram, you know, uh, with my photo in ATK saying that congrats ATK, and everybody saying it's not ATK more anymore, you know, and now it's ATK Mohan Bagan, and I know, I know that kind of. Of, of things that you have there and and uh, you know I, I I'm a part of that in terms of that I'm, I'm very far and I know that Mo Bagan from the very beginning was not happy with the ISL because it's taking oh. many of the you know the focus because you know the I League it was very important and it's still but you know Super League uh, uh, take all the all the all the TV and all the shows and everything. And it wasn't easy, but I think it's very interesting for, you know, the Kolkata football that they join, they match. And for me, the, the biggest success uh, being, an, you know, an, a broad player coming there, it was we are here to uh, develop Indian football. Mm -hmm. And I think that we are on the way. And I think now Mo Bagan is bigger than before. So that the yeah. focus that we from outside can 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 say can tell to to you know to the supporters that they are very involved emotionally with with the with that point. But from us, it's just guys. Now your club is bigger, and you know the football is something that needs to um, develop the society. Um, and, you know, it's not about fight; it's about the, the just the opposite the, yeah. the opposite way. It's uh, we are building something to, uh, you know, have all the fans happy, uh, trying to success. But the most important is not just the trophies, it's the, the way, the path, how we build something for our players, for our supporters. Yes, one important message you gave uh, to, the, to every fans, uh, they should follow this, uh, that uh, since the football is not about fight, uh, it is to develop, uh, develop the society and it is all about the trophy. So this is a very important message uh, from uh, one of the greatest. And Tom Chakravarti is once again it asking is. that. And, and it's and it's not it's not diplomatic. Yes, yeah, not, it's not diplomatic. diplomatic. I mean, it's, diplomatic. it's it's the truth. It's, oh. it's the, the way that I feel. It, it. Absolutely, absolutely, it's the truth, and yeah, uh, yeah, it yeah. should be followed. I get it. I get it. And Tom is asking the toughest defender you faced in your career. Um, well, the the toughest that I remember, it's one teammate that it was Carlos Puyol because many times I need to practice with him. <laughs> oh, and as you can imagine, you know, because uh, uh, you know, in, in, at the beginning of his career, he played as a right back, and I'm playing like mm -hmm. you know, um, left wing, and we faced many times in the in the practices in the you know during the the. Uh, our our weeks in between the week and it was extraordinary how he fight how he defend so probably him and then if I have to choose one from the opponent um, toughest defender mm, probably Hugo Mayo the the captain in Celta in Celta de Vigo it was. You know, he was very fast and, and strong and he, he is a very nice, good player. And who is your favorite teammate? In uh, Specifically, I am talking about ISL. In ISL, who is your favorite teammate? Um, mm, well, in between Luis and Borja, it's tough to choose one because we are very close friends. And here in Kolkata, uh, I remember a very good relation with Kevin Lobo, who is from Goa and ATK. And we Saha, you know, the left back, and uh, um, uh, Mandar from Goa, Mandar or or Pratesh, you know, I I, I like a lot of um, Rafi in ATK too. I like you know to to play in the players because they 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 were very nice with me in all my time. You know, they took me to their homes. They present me their families. Yeah, again, we we share a lot of a lot of time, a lot of experiences because it was a very short time, traveling a lot, and uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of teammates, and 
uh, you know, it's it's not about just one. I, I haven't won. You know, Gregory in 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 Goa, we we shared many. You know, during the preseason, the you we were roommates. So a lot of people that I I remember. You know, with with a lot of of of, of you know of, of feelings in my in my heart for sure. Okay, and uh, what is your favorite food in, in Indian food? I am telling. If I have to choose in Kolkata, you know, Bengali food, mm. no doubt, dal makhani. I love them. I I go, I'm, I go frequently. I'm not saying once a week, yeah. But you know, I used to. I'm, I'm going very frequently to to Indians in here in Barcelona to you know mm. to taste that uh, dal makhani with um, uh, garlic cheese naan. I love the the dish. Oh. And then in Goa, you know, uh, the, the shrimps, you know, piri piri, or you know, uh, curry fish. I love the the the, the fish in, in Goa. So you know, I'm 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 very I'm, I'm a very tasty man. I you know I, I I can I can taste everything. So a lot of a lot of food, but I love the the spicy food. And as you can imagine, there, you know, I remember I always saying that I I went to India and people say. It's not so spicy, and it was incredibly spicy. It's uh, something that we cannot stand. But you know, for you, for your Indians, it's not so so not so spicy. And for me, it was extraordinarily spicy. But I love the spicy, so no problem. Yes, you are attached with India so much. Uh, that's why we love you so much. <laughs> and uh, in uh, <laughs> let me ask about some. Uh, yes. Let me ask you some uh, coaching career. Uh, means you have. Uh, Means, uh, what are you thinking about your coaching career? Means, are you associated with any academy or something? And um, not specifically, you know. I'm working here in in Spain with some, you know, um, uh, not clubs, but some players, and you know, involved with you know, uh, ex ex teammates who. Now are coaching, and you know I have uh, a couple of of chances to go for a staff. I have the license, but nowadays you know I'm working in media here. I'm very involved with my job, and uh, um, it's something that is always there. But now it's not my my preference. Okay, so now uh, one uh, questions, uh, and viewers are also uh, they were also messaging me from morning today. Uh, they, Means uh, you have seen Messi, you have seen Iniesta from very close. Means they are legends. Okay, so in La Masia Academy. So can you tell some memories uh, with Iniesta or Messi, whoever you have seen? Well, well, you know, in La Masia when Iniesta came to Barcelona. So I'm always saying that you know, thank me, we have the legend because I take care of him when he was a very small child. And uh, we shared a lot of things because he was very, he was, you know, I think he came with 12 years old and, you know, living in La Maria, you take care of the, the smallest ones. And uh, at the end, you know, we played together at the end of his uh, part of the time, you know, my last experience in the second team in Barça B, Iniesta was there. So, you know, coming from the 12. Finishing like teammates, it was a very nice experience, and we shared a lot of things, and um, we we are keeping some contact because, uh, again, I take care of him, and I know his family and everything. So uh, mm -hmm. he he showed his talent and his way to understand everything from the very beginning. From he was a very uh, uh, you know young child, and 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 for me, it's again a, a honor to to share some. Some experiences, not only in football with him, and I remember, you know, playing my first match in Barcelona against Barcelona in La Liga when I played with Levante. When I played for Levante, I, I came to play against Barcelona, and Messi appears in the second half, and you know he is playing on the right uh, wing. I'm playing on the on the left, so uh, we have a couple of. of um, uh, Actions there, and again, you know, from the you know the the first time when you when you saw him, it's like wow, this guy is gonna be not bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can see now that he is not. 
but I I mostly share with with Xavi because you know I'm 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 you know 24th January of 80 and he's 25th so we, I'm one day older than him and we play together under 13 under 15 not only in Barcelona but with the Catalan selection with the national team mm -hmm. and we were you know uh, going all the steps together and playing together and um, he again he was uh, an extraordinary teammate uh, very humble person and uh, uh, he he played the same with the same intelligence when he was 13 when he was 14 that when we look for him when uh, he was 27 so I'm very happy of uh, their success. So, uh, one thing, uh, one difficult question uh, you can also tell now. Uh, uh, that uh, means uh, after Messi, who do you think is coming? After Messi. After Messi. Mm. Uh, I'm 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 saying Neymar, but Neymar is 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 uh, you know for me it's, it it was when he was in Barcelona it was the the next number one. Nowadays I have some doubts about it because uh, <laughs> he's you know he is not young anymore and his career is an extraordinary player. But I'm not I'm not facing nobody in the same level as Messi. But when Messi finish, if I have to choose one right now, mm. I'm betting, I'm betting, uh, uh, it's not, it's not easy. I, I feel like, you know, we, now we have the Euro with uh, Phil Foden, with Mason Mount, you know, very young players, interesting players, but again, not in the same level, but, Sometimes they are very good in the midfield, but they are not finishing as good. Or they are very, you know, Haaland or Mbappé are very, you know, killers, but are not, not, not playing with the same intelligence, not, you know, not being so many assists. So I think we, we're going to spend many, many years without no one close to Messi. But if I have to choose one player that I prefer now, I probably bet for, for Phil Foden. I love him. Phil Foden. We have told my inner voice. Uh, we also saw Messi uh, grow from uh, right from the childhood days. Uh, Messi is after Messi. This generation, I think that uh, they will uh, miss something. They will miss in the uh, miss in the international football. Uh, so that's the main thing. And so now. Yes, uh, now I am inviting uh, one ardent Euro fan, uh, Somudip Nath. He will ask you some questions about the recently ended Euro 2020. So, okay, okay so let's welcome Somudip Nath. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you too. Thanks so much. It's my, uh, it's my pleasure and pri privilege to meet you uh, online. Uh, I much. have seen in I have I have seen you uh, I have seen your gameplays in ISL as an ATK player and a, a FC Goa player from uh, the stands. Okay, and I have and I have seen you scoring a brilliant goal uh, with FC Goa against ATK from Robindo uh, from Robindo Sarova Stadium. Yeah. Okay, and uh, that was a pleasure moment. Uh, I Thank have you. seen you very nearby. Now I am seeing you online and. It's my pleasure to talk to you. Okay. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I'm Shomodip Nath, a diehard football fan. But thank you, thank you. I'm a fan of I'm a fan of PSG, Paris Saint Germain. Okay. Since childhood. And also I'm okay. a fan uh, I'm Paris Saint Germain. Okay. For because in the year two thousand two and three, Ronaldinho played in Paris Saint Germain. Okay. And uh, his gameplay amazed me very much. Okay. So uh, I am uh, now I am going yeah. to ask you a question. I am going to ask you a question. The Barcelona legend Ronaldinho. How how you rate your uh, how was your experience with Ronaldinho, sir Ronaldinho? Uh, have you ever played with him? No, not with him. Against him, I I you know I uh, uh, to be honest, uh, you know I I I played many times against Barcelona. 
but I'm a, a, a Barcelona supporter, so it's not easy to uh, face as a you know as a professional the the team that you support. Uh, and uh, I remember Ronaldinho as the biggest change in Barcelona history, as, as, as I, I can remember, because he he traveled from Paris and he gave us not only the joy but the you know uh, uh, the the two first seasons of Ronaldinho in Barcelona. Uh, I think that even you know only Messi can support can 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 be uh, more than that. So. Uh, he was unstoppable, you know, because of the talent, the skills, the power. Uh, you know, uh, Ronaldinho starts the biggest change in Barcelona life. In Barcelona, um, um, you know, this from maybe from from Guardiola, the last uh, with Reichardt, the last 15, 20 years of, of Barcelona life, of Barcelona history. Uh, the change with Ronaldinho was uh, extraordinary. And the way he he's all the time, you know, smiling, and he transfer us not only the you know not only the talent, but you know the the way to understand the life, the joy. So uh, I love uh, the. I'm very happy to see that. Yeah, I played against Ronaldinho. Yeah, I played against him. Yeah. But so, I enjoyed uh, him yeah, as, as a Barcelona supporter. I enjoyed him. Yeah. So, how do you feel about the Indian atmosphere, fans' atmosphere in the stadium while playing, especially the uh, Calcutta fans or maybe say Goa fans? How do you th feel the atmosphere of the fans? So, can you share your experience about uh, the fans? Extraordinary, and it. Yes, yes, uh, I remember it a lot, and you know, many people here in Spain. Uh, Ask a lot of questions about that because again, you know the the, the culture here and our knowledge about uh, football passion uh, is not uh, you know uh, is not enough known here in, in in Spain. And when you tell them that it's extraordinary the passion that they support their teams in Kerala, in Goa, in Fatorda, I remember the first match in the ISL when we win uh, one zero. Uh, with you know, I don't know how many supporters, but more than eighty thousand. I remember it was extraordinary how we feel in that in that at that time in the in the in the pitch in the stadium because uh, you know with that kind of atmosphere it's easier to play because you feel all the supporters and they were very passionate and that's a, a very interesting thing that we we took from there. Not only me, but you know when we. When we um, talk with many uh, foreign players that they play in India, they always say the same. How are the supporters? Extraordinary support from the, you know, very nice, always, you know, cheering, always, uh, you know, uh, laughing, smiling, and 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 shouting, supporting the team. So it's it's very nice the atmosphere in the in the stadiums. You don't in all of them. Then uh, one question. Uh, mm, how uh, how do you rate uh, according to you? How do you rate Sir Joseph uh, Joseph Guardiola or Pep Guardiola's coaching? Okay, Pep's Guardiola's coaching. Okay, means how do yes. you think? Uh, uh, for me, is for me is the the coach who transformed the the way to understand the game. You know, he came from the uh, you know probably the dream team from Johan Cruyff Barcelona ideas and he evolved with uh, the new technologies with a lot of uh, you know uh, support from physically uh, and uh, the scout about you know the the opponents so he i think many many teams now when you see the euro when you see the uh, south american cup or when you see uh, any competition uh, many teams now are trying to copy that, and it's because I think with Guardiola, football changes, because he is not only thinking on how we attack or how we do. It's about he organizes everything. You know, when we are with the offensive phase, but then it's getting easier to recover the ball because we are organized, deorganizing the opponent. So. It's something that changed everything, and and nowadays we can say that probably the football is another thing because of Guardiola. 
sir uh, i want to ask you a question what was your experience when barcelona won the uefa champions league in 2009 and 2011 what was your experience that time can you share please yeah sure you know i, I was playing abroad i was playing in uh, um, uh, as a professional here in spain in barcelona and again when you are a professional you know your feelings about your team are different because you are you know you are defending one team but Uh, again when you support one team it's uh, nothing that you can avoid it's you know it's a human <laughs> feeling is a human emotion so uh, uh, i remember that that uh, that uh, part of my life not only because barcelona won the trophies it's the way that they won you we, we were very happy because you know uh, uh, making a very good football with many Uh, players coming from La Masia, uh, a lot of fair play. I mean, the behavior of the players were extraordinarily good. And again, you know, you win, so it's the way that you dream on. So uh, I remember it as a, you know, being very proud of feeling like a very small, very very small, but a small part of it because you know I was I was part of the club. So one uh, one question uh, one question I would like to ask you that uh, recently ended Copa America and Euro Cup. Uh, whom do you uh, did you supported in the Copa America? And you also did the commentary in the Euro Cup also. And uh, specifically, whom you support in the Euro Cup? In uh, in the Copa America in American Cup, uh, uh, I'm saying Argentina. Because because we as a not only barcelona supporters but i think as a football lovers we all know that messi deserves winning something with argentina he deserves it you know he he really fight for it for many many years and it's something that he missed in in his career and i think he deserves it so that's why i think we will like not only him but all the uh, the, the the football lovers feel like is that you know, means, uh, one means uh, thank god that, that uh, thank god uh, messi if, win something if, yeah with argentina if, if everyone can remember yeah. specifically me also that uh, i can remember the uh, cry of messi when he cried last copa america when he missed the penalty uh, so that so means pathetic condition that time. yes yeah that pathetic yeah, condition he said, that then he said that he and that it was the the last the last time with with the national team he is not coming again with argentina and again yes. he decide to to go again and and now he has the title so i think it's something that football uh, is a is a due from football to messi and it's done and uh, here in euro i think that it was very fair the final in between england and italy because they both i'm not saying that they made the best football in europe because there are other teams very interesting but you know i love the way with the young teams being so brave you know mm. uh, with a, such a nice and um, uh, going without any kind of shy proposal it means we 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 are here to win and uh, you know with a lot of speed with a lot of intentions I love the way that they play and you have to choose I prefer England but you know I think uh, it was very very nice that Italy win the trophy won the trophy and uh, uh, I think uh, Spain made a nice um, tournament but um, not, so not too much not not good enough to sir, I think uh, in between England and Italy so most of the fans uh, are saying that italy one time played defensive football okay back to 3 to 4 years back italy played defensive football now roberto after the arrival of sir roberto mancini uh, totally roberto mancini changed the tactics of italian football okay he played uh, started played attacking counter attacking mm -hmm. then defensive uh, according to you uh, what is your personal opinion opinion about roberto mancini's tactics yeah uh, again i think italy uh, made the change not only with him you know you have a lot of uh, good coaches uh, you know the serbi 
uh, you know, you may you, you go to Atalanta, to Sassuolo, you go to many clubs. And and with the national team, there's a big uh, change with Antonio Conte. And now Mancini is probably the, the one who has best success. And uh, he has a calcio, he has a premier, and now he has the Euro, and it's not easy. And again, you have to be an extraordinary coach to have the, the, those trophies. So, yes, for me, it's not about, you know, the system, not about the draw he used to play because he can change in between one match in even in during one match. Is the way that he transferred to the players that the idea, the way that they uh, face the matches and, uh, you know, uh, the, you, you can see a family inside the pitch and it's very tough to build it. Uh. So uh, one one question: uh, What was your uh, what was your overall experience about the Euro Cup 2020? Okay, what was your overall experience? The Euro in, in 2020. I think we have seen an extraordinary evolution in football because any team can beat another one who had extraordinary players. We saw France. We saw Germany with a lot of talent probably the hugest talents that we have, you know, one by one, the players, if you choose one by one, it's very tough to find one better player than Tony Cross, one better player than Mbappé, one better player than Griezmann or, uh, you know, Kimmich. But then you see Austria, uh, you see Czech Republic, who had not biggest names, but they play extraordinary in terms of discipline in terms of uh, defensive uh, way but they the, the transitions you know austria plays a very nice football very fast a lot of speed you know with uh, you know some players uh, in a very nice moment so it's good to know that in football again we know it but if you are not in the same level of concentration of speed or a physical uh, condition, anybody can beat you. And it's nice to know it because, you know, it's uh, something that uh, it's a lesson for the rest of the life, not only for football. If you are not on your top, anybody can come here and just make a step in front of you. Uh, in the perfect, uh, perfect, perfect okay. commentators reply, uh, uh, that given. Perfect commentator this time how, how he, he is commenting in the, in the I was watching I was watching how he was giving the reply to this question and in uh, Sony, uh, Sony network how we give the uh, this talks with our uh, other commentators with that only reply he is giving uh, giving here I love the question that one last question sir about the Euro uh, means you uh, uh, this new normal you work from home. The, the community you did totally from uh, home side, so then the, not in the studio. So, how was the overall experience of the Euro community? Well, it was it was it was good. Sometimes it's, it's not easy, you know, to be uh, the same connection when you are not facing the person that you are, you know, uh, talking with. But um, uh, from the very beginning, I was doing this uh, kind of uh, job with them. And I'm feeling very comfortable with both, with Manas, with Adwit, with Terry, with Mark, many people who are there involved. And I, I enjoy it a lot. I mean, uh, when we talk about football, for me, it's something that, you know, just come easy. And when you are enjoying your job, uh, they make me the things very easy because they are very good at their jobs. Uh, so... Um, I'm just, uh, you know, trying to pass away this uh, COVID pandemic with all of the, you know, restrictions and flying to India and share the studio with them. Uh, oh. Hopefully, uh, you know, uh, okay. in between the, this this uh, time that we are now living, I'm I'm doing it and I'm enjoying all of those. It's nice to share your experiences, your football, your, you know, your your commentaries and your jokes too with with that uh, people that they are very good at. Fine. Uh, so now we have came uh, come to the end of the live session. 
uh it was great interacting with you uh, despite of uh, getting so much uh, network problems after all uh, we uh, continued the live and it was uh, it was successful and questions after questions uh, i mean uh, if i take uh, up the questions then it would never end uh, such a means uh, your total ocean <laughs> means uh, your total ocean so uh, it will never end so we have to end the live now uh, it's becoming night and uh, thank you for giving us time sir and uh, sorry for the means uh, uh, difficult questions i think <laughs> you have uh, enjoyed also uh, for giving the answers also no worries uh, and uh, okay so thank you uh, for I'm sorry i'm sorry uh, for you know for the problems at the beginning with no 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 it's a, it, it can be it can be it can be with uh, the connection uh, i'm sorry with you know some problems with the network i'm sorry but uh, it's it's a pleasure to you know to answer the questions i you know i i'm trying to be diplomatic but not so so thank you very much for your for your you know your chance to to be part of your live session thanks uh, absolutely and being an uh, ardent atk fan i have seen you play from sorlex stadium and uh, i have seen you score goals for atk and uh, i am personally a atk fan so means how happy i am i in 2014 also i uh, did not knew that i would share screen with you uh, but uh, so how happy i am i can't express you and uh, asking you the questions so thank you again uh, for uh, giving your precious time and hopefully we could uh, we could meet in india again very soon hopefully thank you very much and uh, take care stay safe and thank you very much again okay thank you thank you thank you bye